Have we done it? Did I do it? Oh! Oh! We did it! Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode, a great episode of Jurassic World! Where I have finally done it. I have unlocked Dilophosaur Gen 2. Oh! Oh my god! I did it. It's been years! <laughs> it feels. Oh! I'm with lots of that. 500 of that. And finally, Dilophosaur Gen 2, with its two hybrids, now able to be freaking made. I think that is Dilophoboa and Tyrannolophosaurus. No! Oh, it's been so long, guys. I, we've been playing this game for so long, guys, as well. When you think about it, like, how long? Like, 2015? Was it 2015 when we first... I think it was. Oh, my God. If you've been watching since the start, wow, you've seen a lot change. I, I recorded this in my bedroom, then went, uh, like, at my parents' house, then the computer room at my parents' house, then moved into my own house, and then I even recorded some of it with Ryan. Bye, Ryan. Oh, God! Uh, in, in PAX East, I recorded some in Disneyland in Paris. I recorded... I'm now in Japan, living in Japan. You've been everywhere. This series is... It's like an old... Old yeller. That we don't put down. Yet. Anyway. Um... <laughs> Maybe eventually, uh, but it made it see me through so much. And finally, I had people reminding me, you guys, I, I see you, don't worry. You were like, oh, Beaver, I hope you don't forget about the Lofaso Gen 2. Oh, that would be a shame if you did. <laughs> Cause I didn't, don't be ridiculous. And not only have I been, you know, trying to keep up with that, it's it's not the Lofaso Gen 2 that worried me. I got 2,500 trophies. Um, I did it every day. I think maybe about two to three hours every day was since it started. So that was Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Um, and we obviously we got it. 2,500 trophies. I I sort of stopped there and I felt that that should be enough. I checked two hours before and it was enough. And I was like, okay, yeah, there's no way. I'm not going to lose. Like it was 2,400, I think. And I had 2,500 nod. So I knew that within an hour, it was not going to go down that much. And I had a feeling like if they make it 2,600, I'm just going to be annoyed. <laughs> and I'm just going to be like, right, sod it. I don't want this dinosaur anymore. Uh, I, should, I should have really been careful, but uh, I, I was doing other things. And that's, that's a problem. That's the reason why we sort of uh, fell off. Or fell out, I should say. We're, we're falling off just yet, please. I hope not. Oh, maybe. Who cares? <laughs> anyway, uh, so the reason I was feeding the Carnotaurus there is not because, you know, toast is amazing. And of course, we would feed a Carnotaurus. But it's because of the trade harbor. So, there are a couple of dinosaurs in here. Toro ends in four days. I need level 40 Carnotaurus, a level 30 Ostafricosaurus, and a level 30 Ichthyostega. I've only got level 40 Ichthyostega. I've already got its hybrid. I don't really care about that. I have... I think I've made level 30, 30 Megalodon, so we don't have to worry about that. But it's... Uh, Carnotaurus is getting there. We just need to uh, fuse it together. And it's just... It's it's this guy, actually. This guy's the one I don't have. And four days, I think I should be able to do it. Now, the, the biggest worry... And thank you, everyone, who, uh, who left comments saying that actually I didn't lose Bumpy in a glitch. It actually cost a Bumpy to unlock Bumpy. So, thank you everyone who uh, who let me know about that. I, I made a little bit of a mistake there. And Rexy, um, I, we could probably get Rexy. We've got 13 days. Stego Gen 2, Brachiosaurus. We've already got T-Rex Gen 2 at level 40. Um, and the main reason why I want to get all these guys leveled up or, or unlocked at least is because I'm expecting there to be, and I have no information on this, but a new roster of hybrids or something, right? There's got to be. Why Why would we need to unlock these guys? And just like Dilophosaur Gen 2, I missed out on that. This is the third time it cycled round, and I've got it this time. And I missed out on Tyrannolophosaurus and Dilophoboa. When those both came out, I was like, are you kidding me? The one thing I haven't unlocked and you get two amazing hybrids for. So, Rexy, we could do the biggest issue. Biggest issue is actually not that. The big one. Because it needs a level 
30 Deinonychus, a level 40 Carnoraptor, level 20 Spinoraptor, and a level 40 Blue. Now, we've got 17 days for this, so we don't need to worry about that just yet. But if we get the big one, we get Toro, we've got Bumpy. There isn't too many other... I mean, have we got the Buck and Doe? I mean, we don't really need to unlock those, right? Because we've basically got a level 40. Uh, all we need to do is get a level 10, and then we've got a level 40. So we don't need to unlock those necessarily, I don't think. Because if the hybrid comes out, boom, we can do it. And I think that should be good, unless they're thinking about changing something soon. So I have all, all of them, except for that guy, the uh, bag, big, 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 or whatever it's called. I can't remember. He's, he's coming along well. We're 16 hours away from getting four new speedups, which would be great because then once the Ostrificosauruses are done, I could probably get the blue. I could probably just rattle through four blues. Get get towards level 40 blue because that's the one I really need here. And as if that wasn't enough, we I do have a VIP tournament coming up, actually. Yeah, there it is in six days. Uh, grand prize being the Metaposaurus, but really it's the 1,500 bucks. That's the really good thing. And I'm hoping, because it's VIP, they're normally a lot shorter. They, well, not shorter, but they, the requirements are a lot smaller. So, we have these. I am still trying to get the Clash of Titans. It's not looking too great, though. But we do have another tournament coming up in this thing as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, this is it. The Protogrinius. Or Protogrinius. Which I've already unlocked, I think. So... Don't need to worry about that. So my dinosaurs could finally have a well-earned rest. But we'll uh, quickly just do this one, because I think it's only two battles. I think it's about two battles. And it's it's one towards it. And I'm, I'm kind of thinking what we should really go for next. We bought a bunch of hybrids. A load of them. I mean, we could go for Dilophosaur Gen 2. We could try to max up Dilophosaur Gen 2 and get towards Tyrannolophoboa. Or a Tyrannolophoboa? That's a good hybrid. <laughs> That'll be the next one. Uh, no, Tyrannolophosaurus. <clears throat> the reason why I wouldn't go for the Dilophoboa is just that Dilophoboa... Well, I mean, it's... It's a glacier creature, so I barely use it. I, I barely use my glacier creatures anyway. And... That's about it. That, that, I mean, why would I waste so many resources on something that I'm never going to use? I think going forward... Jam City. I'm sure they're going to phase out Ludio at some point. Just like uh, Ubisoft did with F-Goal. Because that no longer exists anymore. Um, so, RIP Ludia. It's coming. I, I'm sorry. I bet. <laughs> I'm predicting my crystal. Crystal ball. Uh, that's probably going to happen. Seen it happen with smaller, smaller things. And that's the thing. Hungry Shark. Made by Future Games of London. F-Goal. Never forget. Uh, Ubisoft stepped in. And they slowly transitioned all of the games out. Hungry Dragon being the first. Then Dra uh, Hungry Shark World. And before you knew it, F-Gold closed down and Ubisoft said, and they, I think they say this when you load up the game, Hungry Shark, a Ubisoft original. It's not. <laughs> it is not an original. Ooh, I was like, I supported F-Gold. You know, and, and I, Ubisoft invited me off to, out to Barcelona, which was lovely for um, Hungry Dragon. Got to try a couple of things before anything was public. That was great. But I just think it's a bit cheeky. A bit cheeky to say that when you, know, you didn't. Also, they made like a prehistoric Hungry Shark game. And they just, they, like, it never got released officially. I was never given access to it. And, oh wait, did they switch and they're just both dying? Oh, they did. Oh, nice. Okay. Why'd you switch then? Okay, I guess I'll just go ham and, and I guess kill you then. So, yeah. Um, I don't really know what's going on there. I don't know. I don't know. I would have loved to have covered it, even if it was beta. Like, we covered Primal Ops. Remember Primal Ops? Yeah, that thing. We, I, we covered that, and it was in early access. It never got out of early access, and it was closed down. I'm assuming the same fate happened to that game. The prehistoric. You know, they tried Hungry Dragon. It'd be Hungry Dinosaur. I don't know what it was called. Hungry Prehistoric Shark. I don't know. Um, and, and that just closed down, I think, I'm assuming, because I haven't seen anybody cover it recently. Which is a shame. But at least, you know, the thing was, I think... 
Primal Ops was going to release officially. And I was actually working with the developers of Primal Ops and Universal. In a way, you know, Universal was telling them what to what to tell me, basically. I was, they were the middleman. And, oh, we got a Dominion thing, although it is crazy levels. I think I tried to do this and I, I, I failed miserably. Jurassic World Dominion pack. You don't really get much for it, so I think I'm going to give that a pass. I'm afraid. We'll see if there's anything in here that could be good in the trade harbor. No, okay. Uh, we've got some things to do here, actually. Hatch... Or tr for Jurassics. Now, what we could do is we could spend 462 bucks to get Ostrovicosaurus out of there and just do Triceratops. However, I think it might actually work out cheaper to speed up this guy, this one. And I don't know why he was l one level off level 10. It felt like being contrary, I think. <laughs> I was like, eh, level 9. Good enough. <laughs> uh, so we'll jump into him. Uh, we'll unlock you, and then we'll we'll just instant hatch some uh, Triceratops. We'll feed you. We probably activate a hatchery. Ah, that's brilliant. Yeah. While we're waiting for the Ostrophagosaurus to be done, we'll quickly claim that. Uh, we'll not do that. What was I? Yes, I was jumping into the Triceratops. So instead of it is fifty, and that's a lot for Triceratops, but it's still cheaper. Nostrificosaurus. So we're going to quickly just spend... Actually, do I need to? You know what? No. I'm not spending. I mean, that counted as a Jurassic, I think, right? Yeah, only three more. So 150 bucks to get that. I've got 17 days. I could wait. We'll see if there's anything. we got Hatch 1 Echo, which is interesting. And I don't think we have any free hatches. We'll have a look at Echo. Let's see if I can just click it on the mission if it'll take me there. Win one battle with Echo, which we can do. So let's have a look. What prizes do we still have left to get? So, I mean, this counts as a hatch, I think. That's like an instant hatch of, a, of an Echo. No, it wasn't. Ah, oh, brilliant. So we have three Echoes here, which is a level 20 and a level 10. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, we still have one two more echoes to get and how many echoes do we have still so it's one two three four five six seven again I again one off max level it's deliberate I mean we could I mean there's an echo pack here so if we do the echo pack which the prizes are terrible it does however guarantee us one of these and the thing is this is incredibly difficult because already you need a level 10 plus echo to do it. So you're you're basically foddering off an echo. So we'll we'll actually give this a fair shake. We'll get a level 10 echo, which should be. We're gonna corner up to level 11. Why do, why do I not feed these things? Uh, well, there's a level 10 echo. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Can I put bosses in? Oh, I thought I could. That'd be amazing. Uh, and then it's going to die to uh, Dracoceratops. Then we put an Indoraptor. Do we have speed ups? We have one recovery, so we'll, maybe we won't need that. And then Chromospinus will come in. Chromopinus. Chromospinus will switch to Bagiosaurus or Bagiosaurus. And he'll not attack. And if he does, he won't kill me. I can't put armor matter in because I can't have that thing face against Chromospinus last because it will lose. I mean, it still does fairly decent damage. It kills it in four hits, I think. Hmm. Hmm. But 2,100. It only has 3,000 attack, which would turn into 4,500. So it doesn't kill me in two hits. Armor matter might actually not be too bad in case things go awry, actually. Maybe. And even, actually, Compi might be really good to fluff out teams. Actually, I was just thinking in future because Compi is like a three-hit kill. The same with the uh, Rodrigo Solitaire. So let's give this a shot. I'm not entirely convinced. 
with this one. I can go for reserve. I can go for two attack. And that guarantees me the kill on Draco. Irritatingly enough, I'm 1,000 off killing it. Uh, so... I say we do this. This is our safest bet, actually. We kill Draco. Chroma Spines. He had it coming. He had it coming. He was mean to Harry Plopper. Chroma Spines comes in. Okay. Okay. I think he's still killing me in two, though. So I have to go for two block here. Do I? Hold on. He's going to have three. He could have four. So I'm going to do this. I didn't. Okay. Chroma Spine is not looking too bad at level 40. I like it. Right. Okay, so one block. This is brilliant. I just needed to kill this thing. So one, two, it's dead. Factor in one, and then two reserves. Didn't go for it. So probably going to die in two hits. Oh, three hits. Okay. Right. So he's going to go for three, I think. Or four. Never mind. Oh, he needed it, of course, because I could have had two blocks. And that's it. The first battle for the Echo to make it level 40 is here. Nice. Done. Done and done. That gives us 75 DNA. Now, the next one, we do need another level 10, which is okay. We can do that. Not the best. Not the best. Again. It's the... It's the... the the freaking amphibian. That amphibian makes it hard. Makes it hard work. Because we still have one speed up. And if I'm not mistaken, we're about to get that replenished in 16 hours. So not bad. Within 24 hours, we get back our hatches and we get back our recoveries. Which is really going to help us when it comes to this. Because out of all the battles that I need to do this one and I, I should have thought about that i didn't realize because with the book and the dough i'm sure they had their version of this and i could have had them level 40. damn damn okay okay hopefully they don't have something ridiculous to unlock I, i'm sure they will of course they will and I'm, I'm i was stupid enough not to do it um so let's have a look at the carnivores go down to echo thank god i've got multiples all right creatures. I feel like we need to get back Indoraptor so that instead of 931 bucks, whoop, Indoraptor in you get. Um, is there anyone that's almost done? Oh, 300. Why is everything so expensive? Was it always this expensive? 14 hours. I don't think this will be too bad, you know. I feel like he'll switch out Iguanasuchus and in doing so, It'll just free me up. Yeah, I think this is not a bad team, actually. I don't think I'll be able to do any more after this. Because I got no free speedups and I don't want to spend thousands on getting interrupted uh, level 40 back. Expected, expected. However, we kill this thing in two hits. So we go one, two, and one reserve. Just like before. Bam. And what's even better is we haven't killed the herbivore. The herbivore comes in now and is severely nullified. So it goes for a swap. And what can it do? Nothing. Uh, now, again, I have to go for three block here and one reserve. Just in case he had four, which he does have. Hopefully it goes for four attack. Okay. 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 Now we're in dangerous territory. Now we could lose. So I'm just going to fodder off the interrupted gen to go for four reserve. He has to go for at least two to kill me. That wouldn't be great. Right, okay. So let's make sure that it has to go to, to has to go to like uh, six attacks to kill me now. And it has seven. So if it does, great. It's only got one. I was kind of up for seven, but I'll take it. It's got one block. We kill it in two, which means we have to go for three. Knowing that Iguana Sushi has 1,500 attacks, so one, two, three, it's dead. Even if it does... Uh, I got us to just cut out five. Let's say we'll put two and that's it. We're done. There we go. There we go. Foddering off an interrupted gen two. That shows how tough the battle is. A, a, a freaking level 10 interrupted gen two. I had to go 
Well, I just fodder that thing off instead of like a stegosaur or something ridiculous. You know, a triceratops or something really low. Bam! There we go. Yes! Oh, and really the biggest win for this game, or this, this video, has been Dilophso Gen 2 breaking and unlocked. But two battles out of the five already done. And next one again, if they just got rid of the amphibians, but they know. So they know that there's too many carnivores in the game, so we have to keep putting amphibbles in. But I feel like once I get the recoveries, and I spend a recovery for Interruptor, you know, maybe two more times or whatever. Because how often does it come back? Three days. Okay. I got plenty of time. If you're in the same position, I think that's the safest thing for you to do. So the battle stage infinite is actually... Yeah, it's, it's tough. A level 375 Rexy is pretty tough. But the fact is, there's a herbivore in there. And there's only two carnivores. But I'm, I'm still, you know... Ju I I'm recovering after the tournament, so I, I legit can't do anything. Right now, I am spent. I uh, Oh, there we go. Battle with Echo. Sweet. 500. Almost got the next one. That was great. So that gives us a seasonal chance pack to get there. It's just a pack to open, isn't it? Keep it keeps the fingers busy. And a thousand amber dinner. We need to look into that to see if there's anything that's worth trading there. If we have a look... Where's me Amber? Where's me Amber? There's me Amber. So, I mean, I've got a bunch of things that already cost Amber, but I've I've got them already. Um, but the most expensive I can get is... It's 8,000 for, for... For a rare. That seems crazy. It's basically DNA, but twice the price. Ten times the price, even. If not more. And how'd you get Amber? By doing battles with your bosses, which you barely get any from. Seems a bit... And I think it costs to enter the boss battles. Let's have a look. 30 bucks. 30 bucks. 20 bucks. Yeah, so... You're basically just trading bucks for... Super DNA. And even then, you still have to win. To get good prizes. Like, look. Let's say... I mean, you do get through to the end. You, you get Amber, but it doesn't tell you how much. And even then, you might not guarantee Amber. Wait, hold on. What did it say? What was the other one? Or just boss DNA. There's a high chance of you getting the amber. But at the same time, it's not guaranteed. So, I don't know. Anyway, guys. A quick, sweet, short little video. Hopefully the, it doesn't crash this time. I'll, I'll stop before anything perhaps goes wrong. <laughs> but even if it does, I know what to do. And anyway, guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me all these years. It has been... A roller coaster of a ride, and every time I come back into Jurassic World the game, I'm greeted by the old familiar faces, the old nicknames like Kool-Aid that we used to give them in of course Super Kool-Aid. We tried to put this in Path of Times, but you know, we had pushed back from a dev, so maybe we'll eventually get it back in looking as glorious as it does right here, because it's just a pattern. We didn't take the model and put it in. But anyway, I Every time I, I go in the comments, it's it's always always nice, uh, friendly things I see in these Jurassic World the game videos. A lot of people have been here from the start. A lot of people check in. They uh, I, I see your guys' comments of, Oh, I, I, you know, YouTube hadn't suggested this channel. Or I forgot that, you know, I just got busy and I got caught up. It's good to see you're still doing things. <laughs> yes, I'm still busy beavering away. <laughs> anyway, guys, take care. Enjoy the rest of your day, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye-bye.